What's going on, guys? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com, bringing home the bacon. NBA DFS video. It is Monday. We're super excited to be back. Had a fantastic weekend DFS-wise. Our MMA lineups cashed, our PGA lineups cashed, and if you watched yesterday's video, our PGA lineups hit... Uh, all, we didn't miss a cut for the golfers, so we cashed there. Our NASCAR came through for us, had all of our drivers. None of them had a wreck, so that was awesome. They all finished the race. Um, NBA yesterday was uh, – the early one wasn't – you know, it was more of a GPP one, but the late one we cashed as well. We hit three – I think 380 um, and uh, even put in some bets for NCAA – I bet Oral Roberts had a $50 free bet and I won $150. I wish I had to use my $200 free bet. I almost used the $200 free bet on Oregon State, and I did not. So it was overall fantastic weekend. Hopefully you guys uh, had a fantastic weekend as well. Hopefully you dominated. If you did, let us know. You can hit us up in our Discord, which you can find down below in the description of this video. And um, we have a winning lineups tab. You can throw your lineups in there and show us. Really, really excited to see what you guys have and how you guys have fared. So if you don't know what this video and article series is, is we take our FanDuel and DraftKings plays from our matchup tool. So with our matchup tool, it goes, um, and I'll show you yesterday's matchup tool real quick. So this is obviously yesterday. This will be updated but probably by the time you watch the video. But looking at this... Um, Yesterday, and, and you can sort it, so FanDuel, DraftKings, whatever you're looking at. So we'll go uh, sort by point guards. Um, the Trailblazers, as you can see, they give up the most amount of fantasy points. Not by much, but they do. So then you can see we wanted to target Dallas there. So that's kind of how this is going to work. We're going to show you that. Um, the top five each position by the matchup tool. Now, again, let me preface this by saying these are not the only plays. Again, these are not the only plays. One more time for the people in the back. These are not the only plays to use. So I put this video and I put the article into Reddit. And we had a, I had a comment thread yesterday and some guy just wasn't getting it. He's like, if I use these plays, I I have to, I only have the rest of the plays that can only be like $5,000 salaries. I'm like, these are not the only plays to use. So yes, this is a fantastic starting point. And these are great plays per the matchup tool. These are not the only plays to use, guys. I do want to let you guys know that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the Vegas odds real quick. Probably or maybe by the time you watch this, they will have changed by then. Um, a little bit. We'll see kind of how it goes. But we'll go through that and then we'll get into the plays. So... If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button at the end of this video if you find this at all helpful. Share the video, like the video, uh, hit the bell notification as well. So looking at the Vegas odds, you got Sacramento heading to Cleveland. Sacramento open up as a four and a half or four point favorites on the road, 225 total. Uh, Oklahoma City at Minnesota didn't have uh, an over under when I started this video, so I will edit this, see if it does. Um, they still don't. So, uh, let's see. See if they do here. So, Oklahoma City at Minnesota. Minnesota opened up as a two-point. Now it's down to one and a half. It's 226 total. You got Charlotte at San Antonio. San Antonio opened up at home. Five and a half point favorites. 225 total. 225 and a half total. Boston at Memphis. Memphis opened up as a one and a half point favorite at home. With a 221 and a half total. We've got the Pacers at the Bucks. The Bucks open up as a 10 point favorite. They've had a hard time covering the spread um, a lot this year. So that keep that in mind, especially if you can take it at 10. Uh, just kind of see. But again, the Pacers, you know, 19 and 22, not too good. Uh, 231 and a half total there. Toronto at Houston. We've got Toronto open up as uh, eight and a half point favorites on the road. Houston's bad. They can't win a game. Uh, 223 and a half total there. And then we've got the Jazz at the Bulls. The Jazz open up as a nine and a half point favorite on the road. 231 total there. And then we've got uh, the Hawks at the Clippers. The Clippers are a six and a half point favorite at home. 224 total there. 
So before we get started, if you guys want, you can go to fantasyteamadvisors.com, hit FTA Plus, and use the promo code YouTube21. You're going to get half off a month pass. Half off a month pass. Go check it out. YouTube 21 to get half off. That includes every single sport. So you'll get a month of currently MMA. Uh, you'll get a few weeks of MLB once it starts. A month of NASCAR, NBA, and PGA as well. So looking at the point guards here on FanDuel, we got Darius Garland who comes through for us almost every single time. We've got Reggie Jackson, number two. Number three is Theo Maladon. Number four is Kyle Lowry. And number five, it's split between Deontay Murray and Derek White. Derek White's going to be more of your GPP play. He's going to be more of your um, uh, cheaper-ish type play there. Now, these are the top five. These are not the only ones to look at. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the FanDuel ones. If you want to see the DraftKings ones, by the time you watch this video, the DraftKings ones will be there. So moving to shooting guard, you got Fred Van Vliet at number one. You got Colin Sexton, number two. I'm just going to call him V because I, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that last name. Number four is Paul George. I debated taking him uh, two nights ago, and I went with it, and he came through for us, so definitely check that out. Uh, not too bad. Um, and then number five, Karis LeVert. Now, his price has creeped up on FanDuel. We were taking him, so he obviously left with it. Uh, he was medically unfit. And then when he came back, he was, I believe, under 5K, which absolutely killed it for us because he was a stud. Um, his price is creeping up there, so definitely check that out. So Levert or Jeremy Lamb, number five for shooting guard. Moving to the small forward, we got Keldon Johnson, number one. Number two is Jalen Brown. Number three is Kevin Porter or Kenyon Martin. Kind of watching the news to see how much they're actually going to play him, either of them. Number four, Larry Nance is cash. Your Chetty Osman is GPP. And number five is Harrison Barnes. Move to the power forward position. We've got Rudy Gay, number one. Naman Jagelica, number two. He's more of a GPP play for me, but he, he might creep his way into my cash if, if I can build around him with some studs. Number three is Pascal Saikam. Number four is Christian Wood or Jason Tate. Now Tate is more of a GPP only option for me. Number five is Isaiah Roby. Yesterday he got us 32 or 34 fantasy points. Uh, paid off his salary quite well. Super was super excited about that one. And then Alexi, Alex, Alex. We're just gonna go Alex for GPP here. Then we move to the center position here. We got Al Horford, who was out yesterday. It appears to be rest. When I made this article, he didn't have the questionable tag anymore, so that's hopefully saying something good. Um, or you could look at Moses Brown for GPP. Now, Moses Brown for GPP is only going to be good if Horford is out. It appears he will be starting. I don't know if he's going to be on a minutes restriction, so that is definitely something that you can look at there. Number two is Jarrett Allen, who we used yesterday, and he did pretty good. Number three is Brooke Lopez. Number four is Chris Boucher or Aaron Baines. Baines more of a GPP pick. And number five is Carl Anthony Towns. Now, just because they're in this order obviously doesn't mean that's how they're going to score. For all intents and purposes, I might have Carl Anthony Towns here. I just want to give you guys the options because this is an article that I haven't seen out there before. People are just giving you your you know top three, top mid, top value, and that's it. Um I've even seen some websites literally give one pick at each position, and that's it. This is just to open up your eyes. This is not the only player pool. Um, and people ask early in the morning, who are the value plays? I can't give you all of the value plays right now because they haven't opened up yet. You've got to, The NBA is the one where if you can't be around your computer 30 to 45 minutes before lock, or hell, even an hour before lock, you might not want to play because that's when the value plays open up, and that's where you got to pivot. So always be ready. That's why I give you the guys this article and this video super early in the morning um, for these plays because these are the ones that are great right now, but they could change, and it gives you a, a starting point on players to look at while you're building your lineups, while you're doing your own research. So I do want to bring that to your attention, um, but that is basically what I wanted to talk about. If you found this video helpful, let me know. 
uh, click the links down below in the description. Make sure you follow us on all social media. Um, and like I said in yesterday's video, if you if you didn't see it, um, currently I did get a second PS5, and we are going to give it away. Um, and we're going to do it how we've done it in the past. Not with PS5s, obviously, but with our other giveaways. Anyone who signs up, we're going to have a month. Um, we're going to dedicate a month to this contest. I don't know when it'll start. It'll obviously be when the PS5 gets here. Um, but anyone who signs up for FTA Plus will be entered in the contest. Each tier of uh, membership will give more entries into the contest. At the end of the month, we'll throw all of your names into um, random.org and how many entries you have, and the winner will be determined. So uh, stick around for that. Definitely uh, subscribe here on YouTube and hit that bell notification. Uh, so I can, when I make the video, to let you guys know that it's starting. So that being said, hopefully you had a great weekend. If you did, let me know how you did. If this video does get 30 likes, we will put out a FanDuel and DraftKings GPP lineup down below. So that's what I've got for you guys. Good luck today. Let me know how you did this weekend, either on here. You can always email me, support at fantasyteamadvisors.com, or you can go to our Discord channel, which the link will be in the description of the video and let us know there. So a lot of great questions and answers, uh, lineup comparisons go through there throughout the day. So good luck, guys, and as always, bring them that bacon. Peace.